Police Deputy Minister Kassel Matale visited the Bushbuck Ridge and Libombo border post with Mozambique to check levels of compliance and adherence to lockdown regulations. Spepile Kunene was there. We're coming to you from just outside the Libomba border post where there's a big uh, traffic control kind of um, roadblock where cars are checked if they are compliant trucks and uh, passenger cars are stopped and they are checked if they are COVID-19 compliant. And with me here is Musim Wetti from the Department of Community Safety, Security and Liaison who will be telling us about their start since the beginning of December. Uh, well, so far, the provincial traffic officers working along with other stakeholders, they have managed to stop over 100,000 vehicles across all the roads in the province. Of all those vehicles that were stopped, 20,000 were issued with uh, summonses for offences that ranges from uh, not, using, not, not driving as well as they should, that is uh, breaking the rules, while others, there were defects with their vehicles. And then there were others who were also brought down to book for being suspected of driving under the influence of alcohol, while there were other drivers who were, who were also arrested for driving at excessive speed. That is, there's about 10 of them who were arrested since the commencement of the festive season. But uh, we are also uh, yet again expecting the traffic to increase, uh, particularly today and tomorrow. Even yesterday, we were counting uh, traffic volumes. There were some roads whereby, on an hourly basis, there, there was about, on average, over 1,200 vehicles that were moving per hour while others it was about uh, 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 600 or so. But some of our busy roads includes R573 that links uh, uh, Gauteng uh, Mpumalanga as well as Limpopo. Roads such as N3, N2, the gateway to KwaZulu Natal and uh, roads such as N17 uh, Mahamba uh, uh, that leads to the Mahamba border gate uh, 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 and Oshuk border post that links South Africa and Swaziland. Obviously without, in, without doubt the N4 leading up to uh, the bomber port of entry is also expected to experience some traffic volumes as people will be going to, to Mozambique to spend uh, the new year there with their families. We have seen here today where we are now, uh, there are lots of uh, vehicles, uh, movement that are going to, towards that direction with trucks very very heavily here. Uh, one of the reasons for the trucks to be here was that uh, 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 most of the, 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 the trucking companies uh, that transport goods, they did not uh, uh, break for, 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 for the holidays. They only tied the only time that they took break was on Christmas and we also expect them to take a break on New Year's Day. But other than that they will be working throughout and they have been indeed working throughout. But our traffic officers will be hard at work. They've been hard at work since the commencement of the holiday season to ensure that uh, uh, there is a smooth flow of traffic uh, such that uh, all the, the, the people who are coming through were accordingly processed. But we are encouraging motorists once more to ensure that uh, they have their documentation in order so that uh, there are no uh, uh, unnecessary delays that could delay their movement into wherever they will be going to. Now you are telling us about carnage on the road since the beginning of the festive season? Well, uh, uh, safe to say the minister will release those statistics just after the holidays. But all we can say is that uh, 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 the fatalities so far, we have not experienced more than uh, 90 fatalities. But even in terms of the fatal crashes, there are not many this year. Uh, over the weekend, we have recorded two, two major crashes whereby uh, uh, each of them, four people, had passed on. But other than that, we have not experienced any major crashes except the one that we had uh, during the first week of December. So that is why we are hoping that uh, we won't experience... Uh, 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 too many fatalities uh, 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 so we expect the motorists to try and obey the rules but uh, what worries us the most as well is that uh, in some of the fatalities that we've experienced so far, seemingly there's about 30 or so of the uh, pedestrians we have passed on in this, uh, in this crisis. It is in this context that we're encouraging them to try and be visible at, uh, 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 when they use the road at night and then we expect them not to jaywalk on the road when they, they are drunk to be very careful where they cross but then again, uh, 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 because there is a, 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 a curfew that states that there must not be any persons on the road between 9 and 6 o'clock in the morning, we believe that that will also assist us to ensure that we do not experience too many pedestrian deaths during these holidays.
Thank you so much for your time, Mosi Muwete from the Department of Community Safety, Security and Liaison. And you'd understand that more than 300 motorists throughout the province have been arrested for different crimes. Back to you in studio.